people, can you believe it's November already? And this means for some of you interviews are coming up and as I promised, I will give you as much support as I can, starting with my own interview. But let's rewind a little bit. I'm now in my third year doing computer science at King's College in Cambridge. My interview was three years ago in 2014 for the 2015 entry. Back then I was in sixth form doing A-levels in the UK. I gotta be honest, I chose King's for its admission process. Yes, some people fall in love with accommodation or college size or architecture, but in the end, we just all want to get in, so why not make this process easier? By that point, they got rid of TSA, which was a nightmare. I had just two interviews in the morning, one after another, then lunch, and then I left. First one was with pre-interview reading, which was hilarious. They made me sit in a room where other people were doing their pre-interview reading for other subjects and gave me eight a4 sheets of paper of Wikipedia article printed out with all the hyperlinks and references. It was the topic that luckily we studied in Russia when I was 12 or 13 years old, so it was very easy. I come in and there are two people, a man and a woman, who will later on become my director of studies and my supervisor. And they start with asking questions about my personal statement. Tip number one, reread your personal statement. It might be months since you've last looked at it, and even if you didn't lie there, tip two, don't, you might not come up with answers straight away. My questions were mostly about moving to the UK, integrating in a boarding school and something about my cryptography project for which I even brought a laptop to show them the code but we didn't have time to look at it. All other questions were about the Wikipedia article that I've read and some very basic questions around it. In total I think it was around 45 minutes plus the 30 minute pre-interview reading. This one was so intimidating. Two men, one old academic, another young and energized man, both fellows of King's College. No chit chat with them, straight to the question. So the first question they ask is, what my favorite topic in maths is? So I tell him I love maths, so I love every single bit of it. And he looks at me as if it was like the dumbest thing to say. And I'm sweating already because it's the first question. And how could I have failed answering what my favorite topic was? So I just go for mechanics. Back then we were doing M1 and M2, which are modules for Excel. Hey there, on top of my head, I will nail the questions. And they dive straight into the problem as if it's the only topic that they prepared and I managed to pick the right one. The problem was around project I motion. So, hooray, seen it, done it, love it, but with a twist. And this is what I think all the Cambridge interviews are all about, giving you a problem that you kind of seen before but with a slight alternation which makes it a bit harder but still something that you can solve because remember it's just December you have more than half a year to study before your exams and it's totally okay to say that you haven't covered something and you can't solve this question with your current knowledge the question lasted around 30 minutes and I was getting by without asking any help they were kind of impressed with the amount of stuff that I memorized tip number three remember as many trigger identities as you can also just because I didn't need help doesn't mean I was staying there silent the whole time that's actually the worst thing you can do you have this 30 minute gap and you need to show your thinking it might be quite hard for people to talk out loud why is it that they are taking this next step in a problem but that's what the interviewer wants to see why are you applying this formula what if you're applying the wrong formula they can actually help you if you are kind of going the wrong way and if you are staying silent they have no idea what's happening in your head and you're not even letting them help you. So tip number four, if you do a mock interview, try to talk out loud and kind of vocalize what's happening in your head. Also, I wasn't very stressed out because the problem wasn't that hard, but what was stressing me out is how that old academic was annoyed by my letters. He didn't like my X's and V's and alphas, so they can put a lot of pressure for you for no reason. In the end, you might be the last person on that day and they are super tired and just wanna go home and they've listened to people solving the same problem for the whole day. Remember, it's your chance to show in this short period of time what you can do, so use it. Of course, they know you will be nervous, but so will every other person and you wanna stand out. So if you show them that you can work under pressure, how amazing will that be? That will just show them that you are prepared to be in Cambridge. So then they ask me about my other favorite subject and I don't hesitate, I go straight for integration and differentiation. They give me a problem on that and they finish with a small brain teaser. Then I walk out, my heart is beating like this and all I want to do is to eat, go on a train and take a nap. So this was my story and I hope you found it interesting or entertaining and I understand that you need practice rather than my speaking so over the next couple of videos I will be posting some interview practice with a whiteboard the questions will be in particular to computer science or maths and I hope you enjoy them. Bye bye!